Hello and welcome back to RC Model Reviews. This is something a bit interesting, but different. Look at this. This is an antenna. Excuse me while I pull out. This is an antenna that claims to be 2.4 gigs and 5.8 gigs. And I think it's, uh, it's one I got from RC Timer on that hexacopter, which I'm currently putting together ready for flight review now. I'm pretty sure you're probably as interested as I am to see what's inside an antenna, which claims to work on two completely different frequencies, which are quite a long way apart. Normally, when you're working with antennas, they are designed to work on one frequency or a narrow band of frequencies. To go from 2.4 to 5.8, what kind of black magic have they stuck inside this plastic container? Well, let's have a look. I needed to open it anyway because there's no indicator on here as to whether it's left or right hand polarized. So the best thing about this antenna actually is the plastic. Um, in the past, I've bought some cheap Chinese antennas and simply used the plastic. Now this has a nice little top there. It's got a little plastic gasket. Well, looks pretty good. but when we get inside, not such a pretty sight, I'm afraid. Let's, let's get in close and have a look at this. Now, hopefully the camera will remain focused throughout this, but as you can see inside here, there's actually, um, it's not a clover leaf and it's not a skew planar. There's some funny stuff going on. There are two wires, or two flat pieces of metal, which are only joined at one end, and that will be the 2.4 gigahertz element. So they are just a 2.4 gigahertz dipole that has been kind of folded around in an attempt to make it circular. Um, we have a bow tie arrangement there. You probably see that uh, there's a shorter element which has top and or each end of it is connected, one end to the braid of the cable, one end to the center. Well, that is your active elements for 5.8 gigahertz. And you can see there's a bit of an inclination there, a bit of an inclination there. So these are right-hand polarized, but because there's only two of them, the radiation pattern isn't going to be very, uh, very good. It's going to be have some major lobes, I would say. Now, looking at the 2.4 gig elements here, you notice that this one is sort of bent up parallel, but on the other side, um, there's, well, if we look at this side, um, you can see that on this side here, the unconnected element is kind of sloping up towards the end of it, and on this side here, the unconnected element is sloping down towards the end of it. So the precision, the accuracy, the consistency of this in terms of the way it's been manufactured is really, really poor. It's actually quite bad. Even when you look down on the top here, if it'll focus, you can see that the spacings between the elements are quite noticeably different from one side to the other. I'll get my screwdriver to try and point out what I mean. Now look at the gap in here. Oops, trying to do this on shot. The gap there, my shaky hands, I'm sorry, they're getting really bad these days. The gap there is way different to the gap here. So this kind of speaks to the fact that it's not built with much in the way of precision. You know, rather poor precision. You can see this is sort of bent down here. Um, and if this is circularly polarized, the angle here is pretty damn poor compared to the angle, for example, on the 5.8 element. So yeah, I've got to say, I'm not particularly impressed at all. I didn't think I would be, actually, because I've yet to find one of these Chinese-made antennas that is really a patch on the, the quality stuff that we're getting out of other parts of the world. I mean, it's made to a price. You expect it to be a little bit less than perfect, but, hmm. Now, having said that, having said that, I've got to say, I've spent many decades working with radio frequency stuff, antennas and so forth, and sometimes you just have to realise that there's a bit of black magic still involved in this, and sometimes the stuff that looks really crap actually works really well. Goodness knows why, but sometimes that just happens. So what I'm going to have to do is take this out. Now I've got the other 5.8 gigahertz antennas to test that um, came from, what is it, Netherlands? Norway? No, I don't know, NL, dot NL. <laughs> um, I've already spoken about those, but I'm going to um, do a little bit of comparison between these and the, uh, what have I got, the ones from Circular Wireless, which are a really good antenna, some of my own, and some of the ones, I've just got one here, I'll bring it into frame so you can compare the size. This is the one I'm talking about. You saw it on my weekly news a little bit earlier. and see the difference in size here. Look at that. So it'll be interesting to see how this one compares to this one. But we'll just, we'll, as I say, we'll test it. We'll find out whether this really does work or whether it's just a, you know, another cheap Chinese antenna. But I thought you'd like to have a look at it, see how they've managed to squeeze two antennas into one pot, and why I don't think this is really going to perform very well at all. Questions, comments on the bottom of the video as usual. Now I've got to get on and finish this hexacopter so I can get the flight test for you. Thanks for watching. See you soon.